In this video, I'm going to tackle three things. Most importantly, you'll find out where to find three rare Arabians out in the world that you can tame and keep for your own. The white Arabian, the red chestnut Arabian, and the warped brindle Arabian. Whilst doing so, I will also teach you how to actually tame a horse properly and easily, and even more importantly, keep it alive. So stick around because every tip I give is not only important to listen to, but is based on my own failed attempts through many playthroughs of the game. My first tip before attempting to tame any of these horses is to make sure you head to a general store or pop into the nearest stable to buy some horse reviver and even some potent horse medicine. After you've tamed any wild horse, their health and stamina are low until you bond with it. More about this later when we go and hunt for the White Arabian. We're going to start with the White Arabian, so make sure Arthur is dressed up for the cold weather because we're taking a trip to the snowy mountains. I will also show you the stats for this horse later and compare them to the others. The spawn point for the White Arabian is marked on the map here. You might want to come back here later and pause the video to help you find the location. I'm going to start from the direction I think most of you will be travelling from to get to this area. If you fast travel to Coulter, you could try approaching from the other direction too. If you've never tamed a horse before, my suggestion is to watch how I do it here first and then practice on a normal wild horse before attempting to get the Arabian. Arabians are slightly harder to tame. Make your way around the left hand side of the lake by following the path and then dismount from your horse, giving yourself a large enough space between you and the Arabian so you don't spook it right at the beginning. I've seen many other people attempt this by riding right up to the Arabian on their own horse and trying to attempt to lasso it. It is my experience the easier and less stressful way is to approach it on foot and use the slow and steady method. As you get nearer to it, use your binoculars to study it. You then just have to approach the horse as quietly and calmly as possible. Stop walking briefly and stay still as you approach because any sudden movements will spook it. You will need lots of patience and a slow approach. When you're close enough, hold down the left trigger to open the interactions option for the horse. As soon as you see the option to call the horse, do so. It will then give you the option to calm the horse as you get closer and closer. You need to be quick with pressing this, so I just kept spamming the calm button all the time. When it got spooked, then I would stop for a few seconds before continuing. Keep your hand on the left trigger at all times so you can keep calming the horse. Remember, patience is everything here, so stop when it's spooked or it will run away. Eventually, you will have to be brave enough to go right up to the horse. When you do this, the horse will immediately be spooked, so be ready to calm it quickly. Any horse, when you get close to it, will always rear up first, and then you will be presented with the option to mount it. The only thing left to do is mount and tame it. This is usually when you might fail if you don't do it properly, so listen carefully to the advice I'm about to give you. Hold down the left stick in the direction of five o'clock at all times. At the same time, wiggle your right stick horizontally back and forth. Whenever you see the calm button active, immediately press it and then go back to wiggling your right stick back and forth. Remember to keep your left stick at five o'clock all the time throughout this. If you do all this, then the Arabian should not buck you off and after about 40 seconds, you will have tamed it. The only thing left to do now is to ride it to a stable, not forgetting to whistle your current horse to follow you. Alternatively, you can take the saddle off right now of your current horse and put it on the Arabian to make it your main horse. When you first tame any horse, their health and stamina are low until you reach level four bonding. This is why I recommend you have Horse Reviver with you at all times. It's also helpful to fortify its health with a tonic. I remember the first time I ever tamed the White Arabian, I decided to saddle it up and ride it back to Valentine. Along the way, I accidentally collided with an NPC who was so angry at me, he decided to aim for my horse and killed it instantly. This was because at only level one bonding, the health of the Arabian is pretty low. I will examine the stats of all three Arabians together at the end of the video. The next one we're going to tame is the Red Chestnut Arabian. It could be found at Owingila Lake, which is near Strawberry. I will explain some of the easy and stress-free method of taming the Arabian, but for the full guide, if you haven't already done so, skip back and watch now how I 
tame the white Arabian for the full commentary. As you near the area where the red chestnut Arabian is located, you will see a raised hill in front of you. The horse is located just on the other side of the hill. Make your way slowly up the hill to the top, as I do, and eventually you will come across it. If you're worried about spooking it, you can always choose the option of getting off your horse and walking to the location instead. Just like with the White Arabian, we're going to use a slow and steady method and patiently approach the horse on foot. As soon as you're near enough, use the left trigger to call the horse to get its attention. Keep your finger on the left trigger at all times. As you can see here, as soon as you call it, you must immediately be ready to calm it. Before moving ahead towards the horse, spam that calm button. Slowly make your way towards the horse, stopping when it's spooked for a few seconds in between. I will leave the full unedited footage here to show you how I tamed it. You can see here I wasn't quite quick enough with hitting the calm button because it ran away from me. It didn't go too far though, so I kept up with my slow and steady approach, pausing to stand still when necessary. Once you're on the horse, remember to keep your left stick at 5pm and wiggle your right stick horizontally back and forth, pressing calm whenever it allows you to do so. You can saddle your horse now once tamed or take it to a stable. And remember to keep an eye on its health until it's fully bonded by using horse medicine. For the full details of taming in this way, see the White Arabian chapter in this video. I will examine all the horse's stats in more detail and compare them at the end of this video. Now we're going to focus our attention on the Warped Brindle, my personal favourite of all the available Arabians you can get in the game. As you can see here, you will need to travel to the Wapiti Indian Reservation and the Arabian will be located over a rocky mountaintop behind the reservation. Zoomed in further, I've placed two markers, one where I recommend you dismount your horse and go on foot and the other being the actual location of where the horse will be. We start off just before the tiny bridge that leads into the reservation and turn left off the path in order to go around the mountain at the back of it. Usually I would cut this bit out of the video in order to get to the target destination, but as it's a tricky place to navigate, I will leave me traveling in here so you can see the path I take. We're trying to get to the back of the mountain and then cut across to the right because the warped brindle is located halfway up the back of the mountain. It's a little tricky to find, so this is why I've placed markers where to dismount. I'm now at the back of the mountain and start moving back up the mountain again in order to try and spot the Arabian. When you get to this open area with the mountain peak ahead of you, you'll be close by to where you will need to dismount. Contrary. 
As I get closer to the dismount spot, I can see the Arabian ahead of me near the peak of the mountain. You might not always see it at this point though because it grazes in slightly different positions. As you can see here, I can only just see it above the slope. Now it's time to dismount. Make sure you're crouching and very slowly start walking towards it. Stop for a couple of seconds at a time. Any sudden movement can spook it. If you do spook it at this point, don't panic and use eagle eye to find its track as it won't have run off too far from you. As with the others, use the left trigger to bring up the options and call the horse be ready to press the calm button immediately. Because we're on a slope, when I try to use the left trigger to bring up the interactive options, it won't let me. So I have to get slightly nearer to the horse in order to bring it up. Once you're able to do this, call the horse and be prepared to immediately press the calm button. Slow and steady, make your way towards the horse stopping as soon as it's spooked and waiting for a few seconds before moving again. Remember to hit that calm button as soon as you see it pop up. When you're close enough, mount the horse. Make sure your left stick is in the direction of 5pm and you wiggle your right stick back and forth horizontally. Be ready to hit the calm button every time and then go back to wiggling that right stick again. Continue doing this and after a few more seconds the horse will be yours. You can saddle the horse immediately or you can take it to a stable. Remember to keep an eye on its health until it's fully bonded by using horse medicine. For the full details of taming in this way see the White Arabian chapter in this video. This area is particularly rocky, so take extra care and don't ride too fast. The stats I'm going to show you are for the Arabians when they are fully bonded at level 4, but without other perks such as winning the races that randomly pop up to increase their speed. By looking at the stats for each of the horses, we can immediately see that the White Arabian performs better than the other Arabians. However, they all have elite handling and are extremely agile. The White Arabian has a base level of 6 for both speed and acceleration. The Warped Brindle is the next best when it comes to speed with a base level of 6 matching the White Arabian, but its handling is a base level of 4. The Red Chestnut has a base level of 5 for speed and 4 for acceleration. All three of the horses have similar stamina, but the health is where we see the greatest difference, with the Warped Brindle coming out the lowest in terms of health. Regardless of these differences, all three are great horses to own and won't make or break your enjoyment of the game. So if you want to own an Arabian, pick your favourite and treat it well. Lastly, there are two other Arabians you can get in the game that aren't in the wild. This is the Black Arabian, available in Chapter 4 to buy from Sandini. I also have a guide on how to get this one for free and a link will be in the description. And lastly, the beautiful rose grey Arabian. It's not available to buy until the epilogue. Many thanks for watching. If you find this or any of my other guides in this series helpful, please consider subscribing and clicking on the bell to receive updates on when I next upload.